your girl Kelly if you new here if you're not new here what's good what's going on okay y'all so today's Friday I went to work today I got off work y'all let let's hop into a, a story time before we even get into this video it's a quick story time it ain't nothing crazy well it's kind of crazy but it ain't crazy okay y'all so I go to work today so I get off of work today and I'm like oh my god I should go get my nails done because if you know I've been trying to get my nails done for the past two weeks but I wasn't able to go because I went to New Orleans and I had came on birthday so I just haven't had like any time for myself so I was like oh my god this would be like the perfect weekend for me to just like do whatever I need to do like for myself so I was like okay I'm gonna get my nails and my feet done so as soon as I got off I went to the nail shop and y'all know usually when I go there I have to make an appointment which I usually do but today like it was just like spur of the moment so I was like just hoping that the people who do my nails is gonna be there and they was there so um I usually like the girl Vicky to do my nails and I like Lamb to do my feet both of them was there so I sat down you know Lamb he's starting to recognize me now like he was like oh my god baby you changed your hair blah blah I'm just like yeah you know we chopping it up or whatever he doing my toes he know exactly what I like I don't even have to tell him nothing but sometimes Vicky know what I like but Vicky she still be on her own I don't know I don't know so y'all know I'm on my little like expressing myself with my nails i'm trying to get out of my comfort zone or whatever so i shows her a picture of what i want and i'm like can you do this because just because people do nails don't mean that they know how to do literally every single thing so i always ask can you do this before i get something done because i don't want to ask somebody to do something that they can't do and then we stuck in a situation so i'm gonna show y'all what i asked her for okay so this is what i wanted not this shape and not even these colors but this is what i wanted but i wanted the base to be black and i wanted the top to be pink it could be that pink or a light pink i let her choose she said she thinks that like pink would be cuter so i said okay go for it we could keep the same shape i don't you know i don't want to do nothing crazy or whatever so she was like all right perfect so we get into doing my nails he do my feet pretty quickly or whatever she's doing my nails and then she paints some black and i'm like okay cool now it's time for her to do the little pink on it and if y'all didn't know like that is achieved by using like um a spray brush like what is it called like the little spray things y'all know what i'm talking about so she gets that and she's playing around with it and like y'all for the for the life of her she couldn't get it to work i think something was wrong with it i'm not gonna say it was her so she went and got another one so she used that one and i'm you know that one started to work perfectly fine like that's why i'm like assuming the first one was just messed up so she goes in to you know do it or whatever and mind y'all i don't know how this process works i have no clue how this process works but you know i got my hands out to her like this and she's spraying it mind y'all in my opinion with this i would think that you would need to be very close up on the nail and then maybe like come out a little bit to make it you know that's what i thought that's what i thought no that's not what she's doing. I wish I had one of the little spray things. Y'all, this is my hand. She got the sprayer way out here. Spraying it. The, the, the polish is getting all... When I tell y'all, it's all up here. All up here. Now, me not being a nail tech and I don't do nails. This is my first time even thinking about getting something like this. So, I don't know what to do. Maybe this is how it's done. So, I'm sitting there watching. But I'm looking weird and she's looking at me like... <laughs> so, she proceeds to go. She finished this whole right hand. I look at it and I'm like, this how it's supposed to look? She said, yeah, honey, yeah, yeah. The next coat, go make it look better. I'm like, okay, I'm trusting the process. I'm trusting the process. Trust the process. So I put my hand in the thing. I let her do the other hand and this hand coming out bad. Like when I tell y'all it looks so bad, she's steady wiping the nail off, starting over, wiping the nail off, starting over. And this polish steady getting all over my hands. Like when I tell y'all my hands so sticky at this point from all the polish that this girl didn't use. So we gets back over to this hair and she starts to spray paint it again. And I'm just looking like no, no. I just kept saying no. Like I couldn't even get the words out as to like what I wanted to say. But I just kept saying no, no. She was like, huh, huh. I said no, take it off. Take it off. We're going to do something different. No, 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 no. Let me fix it. Let me fix 
basic no because first thing i asked you before i sat down is can you do this and you told me yes if you couldn't do it you could have just said that like you literally could have said that and we could have avoided the whole situation because now i'm pissed and if you know me i don't play about my nails i do not play about my nails especially because like it takes a lot for me to even go outside of my comfort zone and when you sit here playing in my face that's not like now i'm mad and y'all know stuff like that is expensive nails in general is expensive so I done made her take it off. Y'all know once you get black polish on your nose, it's hard to take that off. And, like, it's everywhere. So, like, it, that was a mess in itself. And she's drilling. And, like, she didn't cut me, like, trying to get the black off. It's just, I was irritated. She was getting nervous. She was shaking and irritated, too, I guess. And then, like, y'all, she said something under her breath. And I'm like, I, I couldn't make out what she said. But all I heard was something about, um gotta pay asking for me something like that but like it wasn't together but like that's all i heard throughout the whole sentence that she had said so i said what she said oh nothing 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 i said no what you saying and y'all know i literally just talked about this in the previous vlog that like one thing about me y'all i don't know how to i don't know how to just be you know especially when somebody playing with me all I know is one to a hundred. <laughs> like that's it. Zero to a hundred. So I I literally told myself, I'm like, calm down. I was like, which and I, and I said, like, no, what you said? She was like, oh nothing. And I just say, oh, okay. Like I just let it go. Cause I say, I say, oh, okay. So she's like, show me what you want now. Show me what you want now. Like she tried to not say it in the attitude, but I could tell she had an attitude. So I'm like, girl, I'm not showing you nothing. I don't want you to do nothing. I was like, give me French tip, make it match my feet, and I could be done. She was like, okay, okay. Then she tried to start being nice or whatever. And then she starts to drill again. And this time she started filing. Yeah, you know you gotta be filing hard in order for you to break my break skin. She filing my thumb so hard, y'all. Like it broke skin a little bit. And I'm like, girl, like at this point, I'm mad because now you, now you done messed up my rapport with you. Like I come here every time I ask for you, every time, and going forward, I will not be asking for you no more because you done pissed me off. And now you play like you playing with me, and you just being real, uh. So y'all, the girl done cut my cut my nail. She was doing the French tip crazy like that wasn't even right i made her redo like three nails i swear i kid y'all not i made her redo like three nails i just i feel like she was having a bad day and she was about to make me have a bad day but like i gather myself you know i gather myself and i just let her finish but y'all like i said she hadn't got so much polish on my hands when we was done it looked insane like the set is cute itself the shape is cute she does good nails but my hands look so crazy that i did not even like them i still had so much black around my nails i still had so much pink around my nails and she just tried to tell me to go wash it at the sink so i get up and just go wash this at the sink i knew that that wasn't finna work so i go to wash my hands she tried to run to the back i i call her name i'm like vicky vicky like i'm literally everybody in there shop looking at me at this point i'm like vicky uh, -uh come fix this like i'm literally like come fix this so she gets out the acetone to like wipe it off my fingers and all of that not doing a good job she rushing like she's trying to be somewhere i'm like uh, -uh. i'm like one thing about me y'all i don't play I'm paying y'all all this money. You're not about to rush me. Like, you're not about to rush my nails. I'm paying y'all all this money for a reason. And y'all need to get it right. So, I ended up talking to the manager. And he fixed it himself for me. Like, he got out the drill. Got out, out like, the excess um, polish off. It's still, like, black. Like, I don't know if y'all could tell. But, like, this nail still got black in it, around it. But he did a good job. Like, when I, I wish I could have showed y'all, like, a picture of what she did versus what he did. Like, I just wasn't thinking in a moment because I was so pissed and I was ready to get out of there. Because that was about to change my whole mood for the day. And today was a good day for me. Like, <sighs> so, yeah. And it just was like, what, like, what's going on? Like, y'all, I cannot believe I had that experience. So, going forward, I would not be asking for Vicky. I will be asking for somebody else. Or shoot, I might just start going to one of the girls. But I don't know. I just don't have the patience to be making appointments all the time that I want to get my nails done. But I don't know. Comment down below y'all nail text because, girl, she didn't piss me off for the day. But with that being said, I got my nails and my toes done. <laughs> this is my nails. Like I said, they look good. Like, the shape is there. He had to do um all this extra drilling. So, it low-key looked like I needed a on filling already. But, like, they're cute. My toes is the same as always. Child French tips. They literally look just like my hands or whatever. But 
there's that on that child so that's how my day started after that i went and got me some chick-fil-a came home laid it down now i'm up and i got my makeup and stuff out because i'm about to do my makeup because i decided that i wanted to do like a wig collab and i'm kind of stuck on like what i want to do to my hair i just have so many options so like <laughs> Like when I say there's so many options, like I just I just don't know what to choose from. Like I have so many wig options, and like two of them like colorful, and I'm not in that kind of mood. I was somebody was supposed to send me a bob, and they sent me a 24 inch. Like that pissed me off because I don't want that. I've been doing the same wigs over and over again. I wanted the bob. I asked for the bob for a reason, and they still sent me what they wanted to send me. And I told them that they sent me the wrong wig, and they're gonna say. Honey, this is more popular. We need you to do this. And that's why y'all got me bent. Because now I'm about to charge y'all more because y'all playing with me. But anyways, um, I'm just trying to keep my mood up and my spirits up or whatever. So, like, you know, I got in the shower, bumped me some music. I just been vibing out. You know, just, like, trying to get myself, you know, going or whatever. Oh, I had ordered me some stuff from Amazon. Let me show y'all that, too. I ended up getting me some more, like, little washing pads to wash my face on Amazon. So these are the ones that I got. I don't know. I'm going to put all this stuff in my Amazon storefront. But if you know, you know, these are like goaded. Like I love these. I don't know if y'all can really tell. But they like little face pads. And when you wet them, they get bigger. I really, really needed some of those. Because y'all, my skin has been on 10,000. Let me show y'all up close. So like I got a bump right here. And then like y'all know my chin breaks out really bad when I'm on my period. But like my period hasn't been here this is a dark mark from the last one. This is a new bump. And then this one was here for the last period. So, so girl, like my chin really just on 10,000. So for that, I ended up ordering these um pimple patches. Y'all know the um star pimple patches that everybody be getting. It's not that brand. It's a different brand that I had seen on Amazon. And they had like a really good rating. So I just went ahead and got these. This is like 200 patches for... I want to say it was like $11, and it comes in so many different colors. Like, it came in. This light is so bright. Y'all can't see nothing. I just want to turn it down. It came in green, clear, pink, blue, yellow. And there's so many of them, and they got small ones and big ones. And, like, all the reviews was really, really good. So, I was like, look, let's just try them and see what they're hitting for. So, I need to put some of those, those on tonight. And then, lastly, I got this. I don't even know why I got this. I just, I just be, I just be buying shit. I just be buying shit. <laughs> um, because I don't even wear the clips that I have now. <laughs> but I ended up buying these hair clips. Let me show y'all. That's so cute. If I could open a pack. <laughs> Look at these. These are so freaking cute. And they so big. I like the fact that they're big. These small ones, like, they kept, like, not staying in place. <sighs> but, yeah. Let me go ahead. I think I'm about to go ahead and just get into this makeup, honey. Oh, I showed y'all I got this new primer on my last vlog. So, I'm about to try this and see what she's hitting for. I think I want to do, like, a... I think I want to do a TikTok video of me doing my makeup simply just because. But I hate doing my makeup with a bonnet on. Maybe I had to throw in one of my old wigs just to, like, do my makeup in and then do a wig collab. I don't know. And then I said I wanted to take myself out tonight because yesterday was National Margarita Day, but I missed it. Simply because, like, oh, I didn't even tell y'all that. So, like, this week, y'all, like, I was feeling like I had, like, like a cold. Like, it's crazy because, like, I didn't feel sick, but I felt congested to the point that it was making me feel like shit. Like, it just... It just, ooh, we. I was having, like, a rough week. And, like, it's so crazy because I was telling y'all I had, like, a scratchy throat. But then I was good. Then I hung out with Kamo and her ass was sick at the makeup class when I said, like, sick. She was sick. I'm like, bro, you are sick. She was like, no, I'm not. It's my sinuses and allergies. I'm like, no, bitch, you're sick. So, it's so crazy. The next day, I started feeling sick, y'all. And this whole week, I've just been congested to the maximum capacity. Like, I had to go get some Mucinex because, like, it just was not even coming up. It was staying in my throat. Like, I just would cough it up and it was it some of it was coming up and it wasn't really coming up so i'm just congested as hell and then like wednesday i was so congested to the point that i couldn't really breathe so it made me feel bad i was at work so miserable just waiting for this week to be over but today i feel really really good like i'm not as congested but i probably sounded a little bit i don't think i do i think i'm good i'm you probably could hear it a little bit but like i ain't coughed today like i ain't had to cough nothing up today like you know what I'm saying? Like, today was good, you know? So, I'm just trying to, like, get back into the swing. And I just want to feel cute. 
I wanted to go out because I didn't get my marks yesterday. Everybody was outside for National Margarita Day. Like, what the freak? Like, we don't even be doing stuff no more. Because the last Margarita Days, like, we was having whole group outings. Like, we didn't do nothing. So, I was like, dang, maybe I could take myself out for a mark tonight. It's already 721, so I really would have to get this show on the road. I don't know. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and stop talking and do what I need to do. And then I'm just going to either montage this or I'm going to come back. But I feel like I've been montaging me doing my makeup and hair in every single vlog. So maybe not. I'll just come back. I wonder what she gonna with me. I'm MJ with my shot 23. Girl, all you need is me. Child, it's hours later, y'all. I didn't did my makeup. I did a video while I was filming it. I think I told y'all that. I can't even remember where I left off with y'all. Then I t uh, anyways, I did my makeup. I filmed that. After that, I got on live on Instagram for maybe like an hour, hour and a half. And then, um, plucked this wig while I was on live and now we're doing this wig. It's 11.20 at night. Time is just going. I've also kind of been taking my time as well, so... You know, it is what it is. I did want to go out and get me like a mark or something, but I could just do that tomorrow. Me and Ebony have a coffee shop date in the morning. So that's going to be like at 11 something and then I'll probably come back home, do another wig and then maybe go somewhere. I don't really know. I don't know. But child, this is what we're working with. I was really scared of this wig, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I kind of want to cut it a little bit, but I feel like I should have cut it off of my head because I hate cutting bobs while it's on my head because it'd be a little bit difficult. I don't know. I don't know. But also, I don't really plan on keeping this in because, like, this is not one of those hairstyles you could just wear. Like, this is only cute if you also have your makeup done. And my makeup, I might not be doing my makeup this whole time I had this wig on. So, it's giving me coming off tomorrow or tonight. Hell, I don't really know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it out. I don't even know if I really like this for real. Like, it's not ugly, but it's not cute either. Maybe I should curl it. Maybe I should make this part like like that. I don't know. I just wanted to check in because I feel like I kind of went in my head a little bit at the, the earlier. So, yeah. But I'm about to finish watching Poor Minds. I'm watching the one with Glamour's on the now. I'm about to watch that, finish this collab. I think I'm going to just come back and show y'all like the final look. Laced front fucked up. You should have wore your body. Run your front. Running from me. <laughs> okay, so I just finished the TikToks. I honestly don't think that I follow what they wanted me to do, but it was only so much that I can do with this. You know what I'm saying? Like this, I thought I was about to keep this on for tomorrow, but no, this is coming off tonight. I won't be going anywhere with this on. I look like I'm about to go bitch ball hopping and um. New Orleans on the girls trip. Uh, the movie. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It's not ugly, but it's not me. Like, this is too much for me. And, like, I hate colored wigs like this because they're super thick and they're super hard to pluck and the lace is thick. From a distance, you know, it looks good, but up close, it's not giving what needed to have gave. But, like, if you're into this and you need just, like, something cute for, like, a week, I get it. It's from Shein. Go to my TikTok, y'all. Like, everything is going to be there. But as far as, like, the wigs on here, um, when I tell y'all about them, I'm going to just tell y'all where they're from. It's a Shein wig. It's a bob. It's 14 inches. I was going to cut it, but I decided to just leave it alone because I don't have time to mess, mess it up any further. Um, What else? It just, honestly, it, this was the only bob I saw on their website. So when you go to the bobs, I think it come in two colors. It's this color and then like another color. I don't even think they had black because I was trying to get black. They might have black, but I don't know. Anyways, it's from Shein, 14 inch bob. Frontal. It's a frontal. But I didn't really do much to this side because I knew I was going to be covering that side up. So I just only plucked this side. But um, I'm about to eat my little... Tortilla soup that I had bought earlier from Chick fil A. Y'all, this is so good. If you have not had Chick fil A, I got to clean this microwave. It's so nasty. If you have not been to Chick, I mean, if you have not had Chick fil A's tortilla soup, you are missing out. It is so 
good. Like, it's so good. Like, too good. So, y'all need to go ahead and try that. 10 out of 10. I need to clean up. I don't feel like doing that tonight. I gotta wake up. Ooh, I need to set my alarm because... I want to make sure I'm getting to the coffee shop at a decent time. I need to make sure my computer is charged up because she wants to, like, just have, like, a real deal, like, coffee day. So, I think I'm going to end up making me a vision board tomorrow um, while we sit in the... I don't know. We said we was going to talk about, like, some other stuff. So, I don't know, like, everything that we're going to get into, but... We just said we wanted to start having sister dates and, like, talking about real stuff. So, like savings investing um what else we say bitch insurance like just real deal stuff like what are you doing that works for you and that could possibly help me and vice versa like we want to start like actually having talks about that and i don't know i feel, I feel like i tell y'all a lot that when i talk to my friends we have real life conversations but like sometimes we don't always like do things actively like we'll converse about it but we won't do anything so tomorrow is kind of like a let's talk about it but let's actually like do it too so like i think one thing we was talking about is credit cards so like tomorrow if we was to talk about credit cards we would literally get on the computer and look that shit up and be like okay this is what i see this is what i see what you got already that work for you blah blah so like actually talking and being active about it that's what we want to do oh i almost dropped this oh my mouth watering i'm so hungry <laughs> My literally about to start dripping. Wait, I don't even know if I told y'all. Okay, so y'all know I'm on this uh, braces journey or whatever. And it's not like it's my first rodeo, but I feel like this time is very, very different. I told y'all the first time that I had braces, I didn't finish my treatment. So I really didn't like see too, too many changes besides my teeth closing up being, as far as my gaps went. And then I went ahead and got like the smile direct invisalign stuff and all that does is close your gaps it doesn't really fix your bite so this time i'm seeing my gaps close and i'm seeing my bite being fixed like y'all know i had an open bite and i told y'all about that and it was something that i was really like Ugh, about but i noticed today that my teeth touch like the top and bottom touch and they've never done that so i'm like wow okay i'm starting to see a difference now we just need these gaps to close on up girl it's time it's time to close on up so i feel like it's you know it's, it's about to happen soon but i didn't notice that until today so yeah but other than that i'll see you guys in the morning it's late i'm ready to take a shower and lay my ass down okay lace front fucked up you should have wore your body <laughs> to put some clothes on good morning it's 10 27 oh flexi rides girl i don't even know why i flexi ride this up anyways i just told myself i wasn't gonna be wearing this week today but i just i just i couldn't do nothing else i couldn't it just be too much on me it be too much on <laughs> but anyways um if I haven't told you guys already, we're going to Daydreamers. I'm really hoping that the coffee is good. Uh, Y'all know last time I went to a coffee shop, it wasn't that good. And this is why I don't do flexi rides. This is why I don't do flexi rides. But, um, what'd I say? Oh, the last time I went to a coffee shop, it wasn't that good. Actually, it wasn't good at all. And I was kind of pissed. So, I am low-key thinking about going to Starbucks beforehand <laughs> and getting me a little drink and putting it in my own cup and then going in there because I know it would be a little bit tacky to go to Starbucks and take that Starbucks cup in there. And I got me a, a gift card that Tati got me from Starbucks. And let me let me, let me show y'all the card she gave me, too. Purr! It says, congratulations. Let me read a card to y'all. It says, Big Purr, congrats, Nova Babe. This is the major, and I can't wait to see what's in store for you. I'm so proud of the hard work and consistency. It's only up from here, sister girl. You'll be the you'll be on brand trips soon. So proud of you. Love you always, Tati. <laughs> and if y'all know me, y'all know I love a gift. 
So, like, that really meant a lot. Because she was the only person who actually, like, like, people would say something, but she was the actual only person who, like, you know, gave me something. Not saying that people needed to do that, but, oh, my gosh. Because that's the type of person I am. I'm a gift giver. Like, I just feel like, let me go buy something. Because, like, that's what I like to do. But, yeah, I'm thinking about going to give me some Starbucks just because, like, I'm scared. But I heard from Chelsea vlog that the coffee there is actually pretty good. So I kind of do just want to at least try it. Girl, this is giving Marilyn Monroe, but orange. I don't like these curls. And I'm feeling uncomfortable. I'm not wearing this shirt, by the way. Like, I, that's causing too much attention. I'm either going to put on a black shirt or a gray shirt. And I got on some um, black wallet leggings. But, um, how did you guys sleep? I slept really, really well. Y'all, last night I wanted to watch the uh, Tyler Perry movie. Oh, girl, wait. This one I don't like curly with a flat iron. But, um, last night I had wanted to watch the Tyler Perry movie, y'all. Why did I fall asleep in the first three minutes? No, I'm not even exaggerating. I fell to sleep as soon as I got in the bed. I was tired, okay? So, I want to run that back. I may watch it tonight or sunday i really don't know i don't know what other plans i have for today because kmo called me not too long ago well i called her to see what carlo was doing but his ass was asleep but she had said she wanted to get out the house today possibly so she was like she gonna let me know what she want to do she probably want to go get tacos or something which is kind of aligning with what i wanted to do yesterday because y'all know i wanted to go get tacos and margaritas so i could see me doing that later so we'll see how today goes but Y'all know I love hanging out with my peoples. I'm starting to think quality time is one of my love languages and it never used to be. I don't know. I think it is. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I know gift giving an ex of service is high up on my list, but I'm thinking quality time. She's, you know, you got to spend time with a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because life is real petite. And I think also, I think I'm starting to, like, spend time with people because I'm starting to realize that, like, the older we get, the less and less time we're going to have for our friends. Like, we came on being, like, a wife and a mom. Like, we can't just hang out at the drop of a dime anymore. Or, like, shit, any of my friends in relationships, like, they always got something playing with their person. So, I'm, like... Thank you. Okay, so like, and I know like me, shit, when I get my man, it's gonna be me and my man, my man, my man. So I think like, I just be like, okay, let's just do something. Let's spend time. It is 1030. I got an hour. I need to see how far this place is from me. <clears throat> I'm about to finish listening to my music. Y'all know how I do girl. I like to vibe out and get ready so I can leave the house. On Chelsea vlog, she said that the parking was trash. So like, I'm hoping that it's not trash. Um, so I guess we'll see. I'll give y'all the details because in her vlog, she didn't really talk about it. So maybe I can help y'all out if y'all was wondering. Oh, girl, I'm about to turn on a one-way street the wrong way. Okay. All right, we're vlogging now. All right, y'all. I, all right, I just got to the area. Okay, wait, I see a parking. Maybe I could park right here. I don't know what this parking. Oh, it say retail and residence. So I'm gonna park right here. Which street am I on, y'all? I don't even know. I'm on Eighth and Eighth and something else. What am I by so y'all can know like a landmark? I have no clue. The the Renaissance is that a hotel? I guess Hotel Renaissance is the landmark. I'm parking in this parking garage right here because like this is the only the only thing that makes sense to me. But then again, I don't know because. It's on the other side. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is why I hate coming to places in Atlanta sometimes. Because, like, you be parking, but not, like, it don't be direct parking. You got to find a whole parking garage. And then, like, uh, where is retail parking at? Okay, y'all, we are in the right place, I think, because I asked this one man. I was like, is this the parking for the daydreamer? He was like, yeah, this is why I be parking at. So, um, yeah, this is what it look like we about to pay the park at this little park easy machine and then the man walked that way but i thought it was that way i really don't know i guess i'll show y'all when we get what we want what we do 15 for 12 hours seven dollars up to three hours oh that's good that's good i think three hours is enough we're outside in the city it's a nice day we today. are real city girls period 
Okay, I think it was this way, right? Am I tripping or what? Cause it, I turned right here. Yeah, I turned from this way. So it's like on that corner. Oh, God damn it, I scraped that shit up. That's how we scraped our shit. I be gonna see you niggas, I I be so sick of you niggas, 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 I be so sick of All right, we're up out of here. We had a super cute little coffee day. This is your sign to get with your homegirls and go on a coffee day. Like y'all don't even have to go to the bar and get a cocktail and go out and do this or even get cute. Like get your ass up out that bed with your pimple patches on and go have a coffee day with your homegirl. Just check on them. Like even though me and Ebony talk very frequently, we had a lot of catching up to do, you know? <laughs> and it was just so good. Like, it just felt, like, really good to talk and, like, have a conversation about, like, what we got going on. Because, girl, life is crazy. And stuff be happening real fast. Like, even though we communicate a lot, it still be, a, like, you know, some small stuff we don't talk about here and there. But we ended up talking about a lot of good stuff. Um, I told y'all we was going to go over, like, some topics and stuff. So, we did... Today we talked about mainly savings. We talked about savings and then I told her some of my like savings tips and she showed me some of hers. And we just basically kind of learned from each other with that. So like, you know, that was a good little, ooh, we they got into a wreck right here, girl. But that was like super helpful for the both of us. So next time I think we're gonna probably talk about like credit and like credit cards and just go from there. Oh, and like we was talking about stocks today, but we was like, we gonna save that like a deep dive into that for next time so like that's some stuff we talked about so get with your homegirls and talk about some stuff that actually is gonna like better your life and help you out like real life tips because sometimes like some of that stuff be like so simple but since we don't have any knowledge about it it seems like it's difficult or hard to like get together so like you know and you'll be surprised that like what you already know and what you know they already know and then put it together but the um daydreamer coffee shop was actually super cute it wasn't as cute as i had anticipated it was cute but it was like i don't know i think tiktok just made it look more than what it actually was it was decent though it was cute it wasn't like too big so like i advise go at like a decent time because like it was literally only one area left and we got lucky so we had somewhere to sit but it was so small and the coffee was so good, y'all. Y'all know I'm so picky about my coffee. It was so good. Like, it was just so good. It tasted low-key like Dunkin'. Like, it was good. Like, it was some good coffee. And it had, like, some good... Like, that caramel was good. Because the last caramel that I had at the other coffee shop... Oh, my God. It was disgusting. But it was actually super good. So, I could see myself definitely going back there. Ooh. Going on in the city, God, wait. They need to fix all of this. But now I'm on the way to Atlantic Station. I was about to go to Ponce, but I think I'm just go to Atlantic Station and go to Sephora because yesterday one of my girls posted she had got the makeup by Mario Concealer. I mean, not Concealer. The what that shit called? I really can't. My mind just went blank. Oh, the contour stick. That's it. She went and got the contour stick, and she was asking me what kind of concealer I use, and I told her I use Juvia's Place. But I heard that makeup by Mario concealer is actually super good as well. So she said that everybody in her DM was telling her that uh, like to get the concealer too. 
so I was like, well, guess I'll be going to Sephora tomorrow because <laughs> I still got my gift card because I used my gift card when I went to Sephora with Camo and I got that refined primer. I used it for the first time yesterday. And when it comes to primer, I really don't know the differences, y'all. All my primers, they work the same. Like, I, yeah, what is it supposed to do? My makeup was cute yesterday, but I mean, it's often cute. I don't know. But I like it. I like the fact that you can roll it on, so it was cute. But that's the last time I used my gift card. So I'm going to use my last little, I think it was like $25 left on there. I'm going to use that last little $25 to get me a cons Girl, what is that? Did y'all just see that? Something? <laughs> y'all, it's a lot going on. But I'm going to use them last little $25 to possibly like just get me a concealer. Even though I think the concealer probably higher than that. I'm going to just use the $25 toward it and then pay whatever else. So, I'm going to get a new makeup product today. I'm kind of excited. I am such a girly girl. And, like, younger me would never have thought. Like, I really be shocked at, like, how girly I am now. Because when I tell y'all I was a tomboy, like, you cannot get me to wear no makeup. I would do a lash and a brow. Like, I remember I used to be the girl who used to be annoyed as fuck at my friends because they had to put on makeup everywhere we went. And I was always the girl who didn't wear makeup. Like, I just never wore makeup simply because I didn't want to, but I also didn't know how to do that shit. And then, like, as soon as I learned, I was just, I was on it. Now I'm the one who always got on makeup. <laughs> like, I'm just such a girly girl. Like, I love hair. I love makeup. That's just my vibe. You know, that's just my thing. <laughs> So, like, going to Sephora really makes me happy. Like, I'm excited to go to, to Sephora right now. Like, I can't wait to get in there and just, like, put these fingers on something, you know? Lace front fucked up. You should have wore your bunny. Run it from me. Uh, I clearly absolutely picked the wrong day to come to Atlantic Station. It's some event going on right now, y'all. I don't even know what's going on. I haven't seen no flyers for nothing. What's going on? It's, like, a lot of people here, like... A lot. I've never seen this parking lot look like this and if you've been to Atlantic Station like it's just more than enough parking like I don't see no spots nowhere what these people are here about to leave girl where y'all parked there y'all parked all the way in the back girl where y'all parked there dang it I haven't ever parked like this far from where I'm trying to go this is crazy I'm trying to figure out what this event is I hope the stores ain't paid girl I'm just trying to do a little one too I'm trying to get him out I be whipping this hoe it's so crazy y'all when i first got this car i could not use this um camera for nothing in the world like i was one of the girls who like to look back and like park my car but i cannot do that with this car because like it sits so high up so i can't really see this car like even though like it's small it's big like it's way bigger than my last car so like i was struggling with that but now i'm a pro and now let's get out of this car okay we out here i don't know where the damn it is because there's not that many people over here Y'all, I almost just broke my car tripod. No. I hope it stays. If not, I have a backup. I have another one. I ordered a couple more because, you know, y'all know, before I had this car tripod, it was real ghetto. You know, I still got red lights in the car, y'all. I need to change that. I don't like it. Maybe I need to make it match my hair. The girls like the hair. The girls like the hair. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was giving clown a little bit. But the girls really like the hair. Like, I've been getting compliments all freaking day. Like, three girls done complimented me in Sephora alone. And then y'all saw one thing about me. I'm going to check them other stores. I went in Forever 21, and a girl said she liked my hair. And y'all, if y'all haven't been to Forever 21, by the time y'all see this, it might be a little late. But if y'all need, like, some vacation stuff, go to Forever 21. Because Forever 21, they got us. Like, they got so much cute stuff in there right now. Oh, y'all, yeah, I'm trying to talk and, and pay attention at the same time because it's, it's crazy over here. But, y'all, Forever 21 got a whole bunch of stuff. And the only reason I didn't get anything is because the um, fitting rooms was closed. And honestly, like, um, I just felt like if I couldn't try it on, I didn't want to buy it. And, like, I know I be ordering stuff online and I can't try it on before I buy it. But I feel like it's a reason that I went in the store looking and not online. It's because I wanted to actually try the ish on. But, like, also they didn't have my size and, like, a couple of things that I wanted. Because right now they have, like, these cute metallic-y bathing suits going on right now. 
so freaking cute they had one in green and y'all know green is my favorite color but they didn't have it in my size because that i would have got um and then they had like this cute sparkly top but i just couldn't for the life of me think about what i could wear it with besides some shorts and i wasn't trying to do shorts i want to give like tropical cutie so i was unsure about it but if it's still there i might go back and get it but go to favorite 21 um if y'all looking for like maybe like some vacay stuff or just like some summer stuff in general they had some really cute stuff and honestly like they've been on their a game because y'all know at one point in time we stopped shopping at forever 21 because all they all they had was them graphic tees and pieces on the shirt and flowers on everything but they're not on there no more like they're actually coming back with some some heat like they're doing better than h&m because i walked to h&m and walked right on out they didn't have nothing in there literally nothing i don't know if they in a transition mode where they're trying to you know but right now it was it wasn't giving but anyways yeah i told y'all it was something going on out here why i get out here thinking like oh I'm, it's about to be so many people like it's about to be crazy i didn't got out here it's it's normal so i'm trying to figure out where the event is at because when you even come in it says like event parking event parking but and i see so many so many people it's even traffic right now but where are they going i don't see where the event is at but child I was trying to find the event. I ain't even gonna lie to you because they had a whole bunch of fine niggas out here. You know what I'm saying? It was out here. But y'all know me. I ain't walking up to no nigga. I'm, I'm just not doing it, baby. You gotta come find me. You gotta come find your queen. Oh, y'all could go. Y'all could go. Go ahead and go, baby. Go ahead and go. Because I really should have waited. But um, I ain't walking up to no nigga. But they, they out here. And then they had so many damn YouTuber boys. Y'all know the boys with the big ass equipment. One boy asked me, can you be in my TikTok video? I said, no I, I i want to think about me y'all ain't finna catch me on no viral tick hopefully not i don't want to be on none of them tiktoks that go viral asking me no stupid ass questions like i politely say no no thanks because <laughs> i uh because mm -mm, they be asking too much of wild questions like i i was good on it but it's 3 31 now i'm trying to figure out what i want to do because like i'm like up and i'm out and i just want to have a good day i don't know what to do Kevin ain't hit me up yet, so it's really giving she ain't going nowhere. She on mommy mode. Me and Ebony just hung out. But, like, I want to go out and just, like, vibe. This is why I need a man, because, like, I could just go out and vibe with my man. But I'm definitely about to go home and plan my makeup because we secured the bag. Y'all saw I had snuck and got me a little footage in there because y'all know Sephora be no recording, no recording. But I got me a little footage. Let me tell y'all what to do. Just record on that camera okay just act like you're trying to see something real quick get that footage okay but got that so we're about to go home and do makeup so i guess i could do my makeup on cam since i didn't do it yesterday i do my makeup in every vlog at this point oh well you know what i'm saying if you don't want to watch it skip it but i mean who doesn't want to watch a little makeup content because that's one of my favorite forms of content these days like i will watch a girl do her makeup my whole tiktok is probably makeup definitely my explore page makeup hair clothes that's it like i am a girly girl girl i just was saying it makeup is like really becoming like up there for me i love makeup videos i probably watch it even more than hair these days and like i'm just really in a talkative mood because i feel like the past couple of vlogs i haven't really like just talked like i just feel like i'm having like uh, like I'm back in my groove and I'm back in my like talkative stage and like I'm actually not all over the place so I could think so I just wanted to talk so this vlog is gonna be a lot of talking <laughs> but I think y'all like that anyways because like who wants to watch a video of not talking like which I want to know what's going on tell me about your life <laughs> so um yeah the next clip probably gonna be a montage though because we about to do makeup and then we're gonna figure out because we ain't got to sit in the house if we don't want to so we're gonna figure out something
yeah, 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 she's done. She's done. Okay, so Kmo is actually going to be coming with me to go get drinks and tacos. So she's um 10 minutes away, so I need to go ahead and leave the house right now. So let's go ahead. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take my camera with me because it's like a restaurant, so I could I could bring my camera. It ain't going to be crazy, I hope. So, vamanos, vamanos. <laughs> Walking up this hill, I'm out of breath. Damn hip hurt. Yo, hip. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch, oh, her hip hurt. <laughs> bitch, I am tired walking up this hill. I need to take my ass to the gym, bitch. I be breathing hard all the time. All the time. People bring their guns and they call all the time. Wait, where you parked at? You need me to bring it to your car? All right now, you better you better punch him in, punch him down if they try to get you, girl. Call me. Oh, I'm out of breath from walking up a hill. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. Oh, girl, I heard some girl. I heard some girls talking. Let me make sure my friend ain't getting jumped. Girl, I'm about to go. How about this car? Okay. All right, we're about to be on the way to the crib. I'm gonna wait till Emily get in her car so we can pull off at the same time. It was such a cute girls outing. <sighs> at first I was about to go by myself to go get me some marks and tacos and then I ended up talking to Camo and she was like, she can come. So it was like a two person date. And then Ebony was like, I'm finished with my movie, where y'all at? And it was a three person date, it was just, Vibes, 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 vibes. I'm still out of breath, y'all. I may or may not be a little tipsy, but just a little. We had me and um Camo had ordered a picture. If y'all go to Real Tacos, get a picture. Cause I was about to get the flights, but honestly, the picture did it for me. I was I was gonna lay off of two drinks, not even two. Like one and a half had me like, who? Or hold on. But that third one, that third one had me like, okay. <laughs> and then came up, came up, was like, bro, I feel lit. Like, I'm feeling like drizz off this. Baby, they drinks don't play. Like, they little picture, it's strong. They don't play no games. And that's what I love about them. The food was good. Could have been a little bit better. Every time I've gone there, the burrito tacos have been way better than, like, what they were today. So, like. I told him that we would have to come back or we would have to go somewhere to get for real tacos because I can't, y'all can't be messing up when I tell people to come here and try something. Like, it'd be good every time, but today it was decent. Like, it wasn't all that. Like, it was good, but mm -mm. so, like, we're gonna have to go try for real tacos. We say we wanna go try pho. We wanna try just all type of stuff. Like, baby, what you doing? You got on this badge, but is you the, is you the police for real? That's the question. But, um, yeah, we want to try, like, all type of different food. So, we're going to go on a fun day. We're going to go just on more dates. We said we want to start doing, like, some fun stuff. Hell, hopefully more boy dates. <laughs> I haven't been on, like, a real date. Like, y'all, I don't even know. Like, when was my last date? Because I'm pretty sure I told y'all about it. And I don't remember. And I'm sure y'all don't remember because it's been that long since I have been on, a like, a real date. I haven't been on a date in a long time. Like, and it's so crazy because it's not like I haven't been asked to go on a date. I'm just pro not wasting niggas' time or my time. If I don't like you, I'm not even agreeing to go out to eat. I don't care. But, like, I haven't been on a date. Like, what the? 
<laughs> and if you're like an OG OG, I was going on dates every week, like twice a week, like all facts, no cap, like for real, for real. Like when I first started my channel, that was the most dating I ever done in my whole entire life. I was going on dates all of the time. Like it was just it was crazy like i just couldn't believe how many dates i was going on but that's back when like i was just here for the fun of it like these days like girl i'm not here for the fun of it and wasting my time like i'm here to figure out like okay if i really like him boom you know what i'm saying like do i really like him if i don't really like him i'm not even about to say yes to a date because girl i don't want to go on a date that bad i could go eat by myself before i do that but like i did used to have fun I tell you that. These niggas spending their money on me doing whatever I want. I used to have a whole list in my phone. And I would tell niggas like, oh, you want to take me on a date? Take me here. And what they going to say. Okay, let's go. Because if they want to take you on a date, they going to take you wherever you want to go. And I was going everywhere. Oh my God, it's really blurry though. Hold on. Oh, it's the air. It's the air. It's the light. It's the... Okay, um, I guess that means shut the fuck up. So, um, <laughs> I'll just come back and talk to y'all in the morning. I think the camera had got fogged up because of the heat, because I got the heat on, and I had the camera light right in front of the heat. But I'll come back and talk to you guys in the morning. I said that I wanted to either go to church or watch church. I know it's blurry. Please forgive me. But I wanted to go to church or watch church, so I will let you guys know what i do and we're gonna have some church notes because we haven't had church notes in the past like four to five vlogs and that's that's not okay like we gotta we gotta spread the word we gotta you know Bro, this is the second time that this camera has done this shit, and I'm about to get pissed off. Because what's going on? Why is my camera doing that? Y'all, I'm serious. Like, good night. Good, good night. What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Happy Sunday. We've woken up and we're about to get the day started. I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want today to go. And I just don't, I just don't know. Like, it's so many scenarios that it could play out. It's like, I know for a fact I'm watching church. And I'm watching it this morning. I'm not going to wait till late. I'm going to watch it this morning. But I also was like, okay, I have been itching to get to Trader Joe's, like, itching. And I feel like now would be just, like, the perfect time to go before people get out of church and go. So, it's like, I should just go there first and then come back and watch it. But, like, I don't feel like leaving right now. And then the other option is me watch my um, church while I finish doing my taxes because I didn't even get halfway through that. And that's very important because I really need to get that done. So I guess the thing is, do I feel like going to Trader Joe's? That's 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 the dilemma here. I don't know. Because the question is what I'm going to cook. Because I haven't cooked. I swear me going out of town kind of shook things up a bit. But I ain't going to make no excuses. But I need to cook. But I don't. I have no taste for nothing. Like, not even pasta. Like, I don't, I don't know what I want. I need to figure that out. Maybe I'll look up some... I have a lot of videos saved. Maybe I'll go through my saved videos on, like, TikTok. And, y'all, my face, I don't know what is going on, but she's itching. I don't know if it's the new primer or what. Like, I don't know, and I hope not, because, like, girl, that primer was high. Like, I, I'm using it. <laughs> that primer was high as heck. And I want to use it. So, I don't know. It's either that or... What else have I done to my face? 
I don't, that's the only new thing I've done in my face. So I don't really know. But my chin, like, girl, I'm waiting on you to get back right. I guess the pimple patches kind of work at the bottom. Um, cause these are, they don't even hurt no more to the touch. But the one right here up under my nose, like, she ain't, she ain't even pop yet. And I didn't put a pimple patch on last night, which I probably should have did. Cause I need this one to, to come on and, come on and go. We ain't got time for that. But, um, what time is it? Hold on. It's 9.42. I made this picture in my background. Do y'all like it? I think this picture is so cute. Edited. Like, let's get into it. Look at how thick. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> oh, I don't feel like getting up and going outside. It's cold. It's cold outside. That's why I need a man so he could go get us some groceries. Child, I'm going to treat my man like a... Uh. <laughs> I bet that boy do all type of stuff. Because I don't be feeling like doing anything. Because, gosh, Lee. Honey, who is this, honey? Who is this, honey? Following me. <clears throat> Something telling me just get up and go to Trader Joe's. It's like, it's 9 o'clock. Just go, just go, just go. All right. F it. Let's go to Trader Joe's. Let's pray that they have things that I actually want in need and i'm and i always say this i say i always just want to go to trader joe's i don't want to have to go to no other stores like i just want to do one and done but i can never find something to cook in there for the week like i go in there for like frozen foods and like simple stuff so i need to try to find something to cook because i don't want to go to two stores i want to get in and get out but i also do have stuff in here to cook so maybe i, I just i don't really need to go to another store anyway let me check the refrigerator. We're about to just go ahead and go to Trader Joe's. We're about to just go ahead and dip it in the bowl. We're just going to go. We're going to go, 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 go. Hi, I'm Chucky. <laughs> I did for real feel like a Chucky dog, girl. Like, every day I wake up and be like, wow. But if she's coming out today, I can tell you that. I'm not wearing this to work. It's, no. But before we leave, we got to wash clothes. Because, girl, the clothes is piling up, y'all. They overflowing. Let me show y'all. They look, wait, can y'all see? It's no reason. It's no reason. So, I need to really wash these clothes. <sighs> Another reason I haven't washed them, because y'all know me, I wash the clothes. And they'll be sitting in a washing machine. And I haven't had time to focus on doing it. And the clothes, they will sit and they will be stink. So, I don't have time. But I got time today. So, let's do it. Okay. Oh, shit. Girl, wigs and all. Wigs and all. I need to figure out which Trader Joe's I'm about to even go to because they got one in Buckhead. I wasn't a biggest fan of the one in Buckhead. Maybe because I'm just used to going to the one in Midtown. How many pods y'all use? I use a lot. I think I'm only supposed to use two, but sometimes I'm using four. What's how, how big this load is, girl? Let's see. That's three. I'm going to do two loads, so I'm just going to do three. I'm off a perk. I'm off a hunt. If I don't wash nothing else, I need to make sure I wash the work clothes. The work clothes got to get washed first. How y'all wash y'all clothes? See, cause see, the old me, I just put everything, literally just everything together. Like I just feel like if they color clothes, I wash them together. Like it just don't matter. But I'm starting to now do like lights, darks, and whites. And do y'all like wash towels separately? I feel like since it's just me, I wash my towels with my clothes because, like, I don't have that many towels. Like, I have maybe, like, four or five. So, it's no need to, like, do its own load. All right, y'all. Sorry I didn't take y'all in. Um, <laughs> I literally may get in and get out. Like, and I feel like Trader Joe's is not the place. I'm trying to make sure this camera stay in place. I told y'all the, the tripod is low-key not staying no more. But Trader Joe's is just not the place that you need to come and record. Because, y'all, like, first of all, it's not that big enough. And luckily, I got here at a good time. I got here at a great time. I literally got everything I needed except for my pancake puffs. They just don't sell them at this one, I think. I think they only sell them at the one in, in Buckhead because... That's where I got them from last time. And I, every time I come here, they never have them. So I just think that they don't sell them here. I don't know. What's up with that? But that's literally the only thing that I couldn't find that I really love to get. So there's that on that. But what I was saying is, like, 
even though it wasn't as chaotic as last time trader joe's is still really hard to record in because my job the, the, the aisles is this small and you and like three other people looking at the same exact item so everybody's crowded in one spot the aisles are literally like this like people just passing each other nothing but people so it's just no time to sit there and try to record like people trying to get their stuff and, and go home like you know so that's why i didn't record in there but we got her secure i got a big old bag this is the most money i've ever spent at trader joe's i spent 65 dollars. the most i've ever spent that had to be like 40 something because i always get a couple of items and be like all right i'm done you know i don't really need too much or whatever but yes yeah, child we done spent 65 i got a couple of things that we're gonna be trying today so i'm excited about that <gasps> i knew it oh i knew it was gonna fall i knew it was gonna fall oh man here we go now i gotta try to put this other tripod in here hopefully that goes smoothly because when i first put this tripod in here i kind of struggled uh, but um today was a good day like at the store like everybody was so nice like you know usually when you go to the store somebody rude somebody didn't want to say excuse me like everybody was just smiling at me today and i was you know smiling back even spoke to a couple of people girl like who am i because i don't be speaking i ain't gonna lie i be, I be shy I just be in my own zone but like people speaking and just like it was a good good day this girl said <laughs> she walked up to me y'all kid y'all not y'all every day i been getting compliments on my hair and this girl walked up to me she literally did did she say girl that orange looks so good on you <laughs> i was like oh my god thank you girl it was so cute how she how she like did it but yeah today is a good morning am i going the right way oh i think i was supposed to turn right um okay let me remember where the guy at and then i'll just come back and show y'all what i got when i get in the crib oh. <laughs> all right let's get into the hall so i ended up getting me some eucalyptus because i have eucalyptus in my shower but i got that like over a year ago y'all it's just been sitting there it's just old so i just feel like it was time to just get a new one why not got me some flowers because i said i would buy it buy myself more flowers this year so we're back on that well at least for a while it's cold because y'all know once it get hot nets flowers no hell no so yeah um anyways um this is something new that we're trying it's the pine berries um winter frost pine berries so i heard that they're like strawberry pineapple mix so we got them i hope that they're good yeah Another new item we're trying is Snickerdoodle cookies. If you don't know, one of my favorite cookies is Snickerdoodle cookies. Like, I will go to Great American Cookie all the time and get nothing but Snickerdoodles. Like, they so good. So, I'm hoping that these are really, really good. They're kind of, like, on the harder side. So, I may, like, warm them up or something. I got me some wings because I decided that I didn't really feel like cooking today. I just have a lot of other things to do. So, I didn't really feel like cooking. So, I'm going to make me, like, an air fryer meal. So, I'm going to do... I actually attempted to cook this not too long ago, but I'm going to do wings and I'm going to do fried rice. So it's about to give like wing and burger American deli in here. But this time I know it's going to be good because this is just regular fried rice and then that's just chicken. And I got the sauce I need, so we're good on that. Um, I got some juice just because I don't have any juice in the house. Um, I got the orange peach mango. If you know, you know, I've gotten this a couple of times and I like it. I will say it's super sweet, but it's good. One of the things that I always get is an orange chicken bowl, and I be bringing these to work. It's just good, and the calories on it is not a lot. Another fave, chocolate ice cream. I love me some chocolate ice cream, especially those mini ones. This is the first time I'm trying this. This is the meat lasagna. And literally, y'all, the only reason that I got this is because we was talking about lasagna, like, yesterday. And I was like, ooh, that sounds so good. I haven't had that in a long time. And I saw it today, and I'm like, let me get it. And then also, like, this could be something, like, lazy for me to make. Like, let's say Tuesday night, I need to have something to eat the night and lunch the next day. Boom. Okay. And then, last but very much not least, is my dumplings. I got two. I was about to be I was about to get three, but I wasn't gonna be greedy because it was only a couple left. So I only got two. But that's y'all know that'd be the main reason I went in there. And my pancake puffs at home. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make my own pancake puffs. Cause I got um 
pancake mix in the refrigerator. But damn, I don't have no almond extract. The key to my pancakes is almond extract. Like, it just make them taste so good and, like, cakey. I just don't know how to describe it, but it's so good. But I guess I can still kind of make them. That way I can have them to eat, you know, whatever. So let's try these pine berries. Let's see what they hitting on real quick. And then I'm going to put the rest of this up. And I'm probably going to, I'm not going to eat um, I might eat this right now. Damn, I should have got three. I might eat this right now, and I'm gonna cook my my like wings and my rice like after I'm done with church and all of that stuff. The fact that they're white is really creeping me out. Like it's really really creeping me out. Bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Now they're dead ass wrong. <laughs> Y'all, these are strawberries. Like, it don't taste no different. It literally tastes like a strawberry. Like, I don't taste no pineapple, nothing. Girl, this is a strawberry. And they're not that sweet, just like strawberries have been. I don't remember the last time I've had just some sweet strawberries. Like, strawberries have not been good lately. And these not that sweet either. I'm going to eat them, girl. When I bought them, I'm going to eat them, but... Don't waste your money. It says like a strawberry. What it takes. In other words, greatness never goes on sale. It costs what it costs. It takes what it takes. And those who want to possess it must be willing to pay the price for it. Success is not owned. It's rented. All right, it's 12.05. We just finished <clears throat> watching church. I ended up putting, like, all the groceries and stuff up. Cleaning the kitchen. I still need to wash the dishes, but I didn't feel like doing it, like, right at this moment. Because I was like, let me just go ahead and, like, you know, talk about my church notes. But, um, y'all, church had me, like, crying. <laughs> like, I was really crying. So, I'm going to try to, like, talk about it without crying. But, at first, I'm thinking the sermon was, like, about being like about success and about like achieving success like I thought that's what it was about but then it kind of took like a turn and it talked about my notes really all over the place because honestly I didn't even really note take for real I really was just listening so he talked about one of the points that he says we haven't been taught to suffer and like me personally I was like why would we be taught to suffer why would we even want to you know what I'm saying because we always be taught to celebrate things and you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't really know how to, like, discuss that part of it. Honestly, I'm really not even just about to go based off my notes. I'm just going to go based off, like, my thought process, like, while I was listening to it. So, like, one thing he was talking about is basically, like, it was good that I was afflicted. Because, like, some of our greatest growths come from, like, the greatest pains. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> okay, so, like, I've been telling y'all that I have been having, like flashbacks of stuff that like people have done to me or like situations that I've been in like growing up and it's so crazy that this is coming up again because I talked to Camo about this last night but I was telling her like I legit be having flashbacks of like my childhood and stuff that like went on and why like I was treated certain ways or like certain stuff was done to me like and it just don't make sense like me thinking about it now like as an adult it's really crazy. Like, I'm not I'm not just saying, like, things were just, like, 100% horrible, but they weren't good. It wasn't good for, like, my mental health. It's the reason that I am the way that I am now. I'm very closed off. I'm not, like, super um, up forth with, like, my feelings and telling people how I feel all the time. I am, like, getting better at it, but, like, I have been very closed off for a long time. Like, growing up, all I could just remember saying to myself is, like... I just can't wait to like make a life of my own and, and truly just like make my life what I want it to be and surround myself with people that I want to surround myself with. Oh my god, I've tried to record this part so many times and I just can't do it without crying. But okay, I think I'm good now. I think I'm good. Basically, what I was trying to say is okay, so y'all know how I've been telling y'all that I've been having like flashbacks and I've been having like a lot of flashbacks of just like moments in time and like just like situations with me growing up. Where I just really think back as an adult and I'm like, was that really necessary? Like, did I really need 
need to be treated that way? Did I really need to be, like, talked to that way? Like, stuff like that, you know? I always felt super alone, like, as a child. Like, I, like I was the only child um, that's, like, given. But I always just felt alone. Like, I never felt like I just truly had somebody, like, in my corner who I could talk to, who would actually listen to me. Um, just stuff like that. Like, I never felt like I had that. Okay, um... I keep trying to record this part, y'all, and I can't record it without, like, crying because, like, for a very long... I, I think even to this day, like, it's stuff that I just, like, harbor. Like, I just harbor feelings and, like, thoughts, and I never talk about them. So, like, when I do, it's a, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to just kind of try to, like, sum it up. And, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll talk to y'all about it one day, like, when I'm ready to talk about it. But basically, just kind of, like, all of those things that happened to me did nothing but, like push me to um basically just go out into the world and like make the life that I wanted to have like surround myself with the people that I wanted to surround myself with that poured into me that encouraged me that actually like I felt loved by you know what I'm saying and like that gave me the job that I have because like I said y'all I live really far away like I don't want nobody to be able to just come pull up on me or just see me like I really love being by myself being alone being far away because you know like that, that I've always felt alone so like me just being af away from any anything chaotic I've just felt at peace so like all of that to say like I feel like that pushed me that pushed me to work really really hard when I was in college I had three jobs y'all like it pushed me to work really really hard and not need anybody and while that sounds really really bad like you should be able to depend on somebody i feel like i couldn't depend on nobody i had my grandpa but that was it like that was it that was the only person i felt like that was just really in my corner like and he was making sure i was straight he was making sure i had food he was making sure i had clothes on my back you know what i'm saying but like that upbringing really pushed me to basically be on what i'm on now like be as my bad the camera went out but to be like as dedicated as i am now because like I work so hard to just make sure, like, I, I can do this. Like, I can do it because I don't have nobody to lean on but myself. So, I have to go ten times as hard. And while, like, it's sad, it's like, if I didn't have all of those things going on, I probably would not push myself as hard as I push myself to have, like, everything that I have or just to be the person that I am today because I even work harder now, like, on my relationships with people because, like, I want to be different like some, like for a long time i didn't even really understand what it meant to be like <clears throat> like a, a super good friend to somebody or just like be there for somebody because like i felt like i was always alone i felt like i never really had like that like i just you know you know like basically like i don't i don't know how to say what i'm saying but i'm trying to say like that's why i said like i don't think i'm ready to talk about it Especially, like, deep into detail, for real, for real. While it sounds bad, like, sometimes, like, you gotta suffer in order to get to, like, a different place. Or, you know, come down up off your pedestal if you on a high pedestal. Or just, it, it, it just, it just depends, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But for me, my life, my perspective, I think my past is what pushes me to be, like, where I am today. And it pushes me to just want to be a great person it pushes me to just just be better overall like, i really really hope this wasn't all over the place because like y'all i can't even get my thoughts straight myself to even express them to y'all to like correlate to the sermon so yeah child, that's that's where we at but i got my um laptop out and i'm about to go ahead and try to attempt to finish my taxes hopefully it doesn't take me too long i'm gonna do that while i also watch me a couple because i fell asleep on the last night girl so i really want to see like what it's hitting on so many people keep saying it's good and so many people keep saying like it's not good so i don't know i think i might find it good because the previews look good so i don't know i think i'm gonna like it so i'm probably just gonna come back to y'all after i'm done with this and probably get my review on that as well and then um i don't know i'm gonna just come back because i don't know I'm a little discombobulated right now. I was just crying on camera like, girl, wait. And there's nothing wrong with crying on camera. It's really not. But, like, I, I don't cry in person. Like, a lot of people have never seen me cry. <laughs> because that, me and that, I just don't. I don't do it. You know, I don't do it. Not not feelings-wise. Like, I'll cry about something stupid. But, like, me deep diving in feelings and crying, like, uh-uh. 
if if let me let me tell it and anybody who know me i don't care about nothing you know that's not good but like that's the truth like that's how i am perceived so i just yeah i'll be back all right it's later i'm over here watching jada jone i just finished washing the dishes i did my taxes y'all it took me like three hours and 13 minutes to be exact to do my taxes but it was easier than i thought like i didn't think it was hard because i've done it by myself before but like, i was just real like hesitant as far as like how the youtube stuff goes but like it's, it was very easy like it was super easy so we got that done i feel really really accomplished um i ended up making my dinner so these are my wings i'm about to go ahead and put the sauce on them i did end up making the fried rice but i decided to put it in a microwave instead and it didn't come out good it came out like mushy like so i think i'm just gonna continue to like cook it on the stove because i've made that one before and i liked it on the stove but i did not like it in there so i'm just about to eat me a little 10 piece hot lemon pepper sprinkle <laughs> and watch me some like i'm watching maybe like a couple more vlogs and then fold clothes because we got through washing all the clothes and this really was like a low-key um sunday reset i could have just like vlogged today by itself but we coming up with a routine i think i'm gonna have like a good routine for when i actually do decide to do one and i've been saying that shit every single vlog but i'm serious i'm serious i'm serious so one coming soon and what else that's really it i'm trying to think of what else i need to do before like my week starts i don't know who's gonna be doing a weekly vlog i just been feeling like i've been playing like catch up not even catch up because like it's nothing that i'm catching up on but like during the week i just be wanting to get through work and nothing else like i just just want to get through work like but I have to keep picking up the camera. So, like, you know, there's that on that. So, if I decide to vlog, of course, y'all will see it. If not, I'll see y'all on the weekend. And, yeah, that's it. That's all. If you guys stuck around for this whole entire video, I am super appreciative of y'all. Thank y'all so, so much. If you are new here, go back and watch you some old videos. Or if you're not new here, go back. Watch you some other videos you probably didn't watch just yet. I know a lot of y'all have been catching up on my, like, Fun Girl Summer Series. Like, period. I can't wait for this year. But other than that... Like, comment, subscribe. We are on the road to 10K, y'all. We so close. <laughs> we are so freaking close. So I want to start planning for that. So we have some exciting stuff coming up for that. And, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. Good night. I hope y'all have a good one. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.